hey people it's not nice talking now i believe all these black films uh hoop dreams now i don't specifically know if the people who made the film were black but the subjects of the film are black and it features almost entirely black people so i count it as one now i just watched it so this is really coming off why just see my thoughts and this is both a review and a recommendation i highly recommend this film now basically the plot of the film follows two boys william gates and uh, what was the other one's name william gates and arthur Agui, and they get accepted into a white suburban school in chicago which has an excellent uh, basketball program and it follows them f throughout high school as they work tirelessly to get into into the basketball career and to hopefully into the NBA. And it's, it's really interesting because for me, as someone who comes from outside the culture, you, I see a lot of things like the black American culture. And also because things that I've not seen, because I've seen from, I mean, I heard from people like Black Ryan, Free One Free, Minister Jap, and uh, Brian Solange, and they've talked about growing up black in Chicago. And it's always been very interesting, and seeing this, it really is quite an informative experience. And what's really in the film is, I would say this is a, a great sports film, and probably one of the great sport, uh, greatest sports films out there. And it's all completely true, it's not something that's made up. And what really drives the film is is the characters. The thing about it is not so much about the sports, it's about all the things that everyone's going through, all the issues that they go through and the family things. You see with Arthur Agui, his uh, issues with his father, his mother, and what it's like when he, how do you say, when they can't afford to send him to the school and his scholarship runs out, and the harsh realities of one of the coaches saying, hey, listen, if he was good enough, they would have worked through it, and he would still be there. He wasn't, so they sent him out. And then the other one, William Gates, and how he has to work through an injury, and how he's suffering constantly. And then one of the other things I saw in the film is how they both came from families where they were good athletes, and Arthur Agui's father, he said he was he could have had the potential to have gone to that length, but he never had the luck. And the other one, William Gates, his brother, Curtis Gates, said he got accepted into a university, but through a combination of bad luck and his own personal failings, I don't want to speak badly of him because he's now deceased, but he wasn't able to make either his college career or his basketball career, and he failed. And, and there was a very touching scene where he gets fired from his security guard job and he's talking about that he's not achieved anything and he just feels like a complete failure and you really feel moved about, not just about the characters, but the people around them and what they're going through. And you see how what they, their failed expectations and dreams weigh upon these two young men and what it pushes them, even though they keep saying, look, we want you to just do what's best for you, you can't help but feel that they're also not always looking out quite for what's in their best interest. Anyway, I really don't want to give away the whole plot of the film, but it is really, really good. And I would also say this film should be shown to all these black kids because, you know, as as talented as they are and as hardworking as they are, there's only so many basketball careers and football careers and even, if you want to go there, rap careers that can be had. And tr trying to push these kids for these dreams, which, quite frankly, are not realistic, it just sets them up for failure because and you, we're watching it and you're seeing these kids and they're being pushed to their breaking limits and you think, these kids are going to damage their bodies you're trying to att attain this dream, which is just so hard to reach. Anyway, like I said, I don't want to keep going on, but it's really great. And I would definitely recommend it. Hoop Dreams. 1994. So anyway, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.